Good morning, everybody. Daniel here. Just wanted to give today's daily intake of divine inspiration. Uh, today, it'll be from 2 Chronicles chapter 14, verse 11. The Bible says, And Asa cried unto the Lord his God, and said, Lord, it is nothing with thee to help, whether with many. Help us, Lord, O Lord our God, for we rest on thee. And in thy name we go against this multitude. O Lord, thou art our God. Let not man prevail against thee. So the Lord smote the Ethiopians before Asa and before Judah, and the Ethiopians fled. The Bible says that this man Asa cried unto the Lord his God. Man, we ought to cry unto the Lord our God. We got some problems in life, we got things that we're dealing with, and uh, there's only one person that we ought to turn to, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ, is the Lord God, Lord our God. He cried unto the Lord his God, and said, Lord, it is nothing with thee to help. It is nothing with thee to help. I just want to think about that thought right now. It is nothing with thee to help. There's nothing too hard for God. And, uh, question is asked in Jeremiah, is anything too hard for God? Absolutely not. Nothing is too hard for God. The God who created the universe, the God who, who holds the world in the span of his hands, in the palm of his hands, can take care of your problems. There's nothing too hard for him. And yesterday we talk, I talked about battles. Now you got some battles in life. You realize that there is no battle that is too strong for God to fight. And you know, I think in Numbers it talks about how uh, how can one go against a thousand or two go against a uh, hundred thousand or something like that. And, um, and it says, say that their rock is the Lord. You see, there's nothing too hard for God. We can trust Him. The Bible says, trust Him at all times. Ye people, pour out your heart unto God. For He is our refuge. That's Psalm 62, 8. I believe that's the reference. But you see, it says, Whether with many or with them that have no power, God can use anybody. God can use the weakest person to defeat an army of a thousand. And God can use many people to do it. The means that God brings you to victory doesn't matter as long as God is getting the glory. God is the one getting the glory. And it says, For we rest on thee. Do you rest on God today? Do you rest on the Lord? He rests on the fact that there is nothing too hard for him. I think a lot of times we don't. We fail to do that. We fail to trust in him. We fail to trust in his care for us. We fail to trust in the fact that he does care for us. And he's going to take care of our problems. I always says, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Do you realize that God cares for you? He knows the number, how much hairs is on your head. He knows the numbers of them. And you know, he knows how many stars are in this heaven. He knows how many problems you got in life. You can rest on the Lord. You can rest on his promise. You rest on his care. Because I'll tell you what, God does care for you. And he doesn't want you to see you weighed down by your problems. Just give it to him, cast it at his feet, and you'll be glad that you did. Rest on him. And you know what happened in verse 12? God did very, the very thing that Asa prayed for. It says, So the Lord smote the Ethiopians before Asa and before Judah. And the Ethiopians fled. Asa got to see the victory that he prayed for. You want to see the victory you're praying for in your life? Just rest on the things that rest on the promise that God is going to take care of you. All right. Thanks for listening. God bless you. Bye-bye.